guys, welcome to Pacific Pines State High School Athletics Carnival for 2018. Now I've been asked to talk about why it's important for a school to have a day like this and I think it's mostly just important to talk about school spirit and encouraging people to really get down there and have a try. Uh, we're out here, everyone's having a great time. We've got events running, little kids running 100 metres, big kids running 100 metres. It's a great year, great day. Maybe the last athletics carnival for everyone here. So. We're, you know, we're out here, we're putting in an effort, we're having fun, we're here for Pacific Pine State High School and most importantly, we're being safe, being respectful, being responsible and being learners and we're keeping up our attendance. So make sure you keep following. Alrighty, we're here again at the Pacific Pine State High School 2018 Athletics Carnival and we've got here the infamous king of cliches, Mr. Matthew Maloney. He's going to tell us about why it's important for a teacher in terms of the perspective of why we come to Athletics Carnival. Why does it add to a school, Mr. Maloney? Can I just say first of all, can you just say my first name? They don't, no one knows. Anyway. So, I'm sorry okay. about that, that's okay. Yeah, so anyway guys, um, uh, like at school, in the classroom, when you're like, injecting intelligence into kids' brains. You don't see all this sort of stuff. You don't see this explosion of color. That's exactly it's right. It's so good to see these guys come together and see a massive display of physical capability. Yeah, it's like, it's great because they're dressed up like you. I mean, you're wearing what you would normally wear in a standard biology easy, class. Easy, easy. All right, we're gonna easy. be sweet. Well, that's okay. that I'm about to sign up for the javelin, the sits under 17 girls javelin, and I'm the only one on. So hopefully I can win, fingers crossed. Just look at this. I think we've come across a problem. I'm not the only one racing. So, racing, throwing. So maybe I haven't got the best luck, we'll see. <laughs> So I'm just warming myself up now, just taking my aim. We're not really sure what we're doing, but we're gonna run. Yes! I just hit myself in the back, but we've done it. First throw of 2018, she's done it, boys. That is a win for Norfolk Warriors. Yeah? Are you joking? Yeah, I've, def I've, I've just won third place. We're in it, we're in it, boys. We've just put it in the bag. We've sealed the deal. Here we go. Alrighty, Pacific Pine State High School Athletics Carnival 2018. We're here with the man, the man, the man, the myth. Mr. Mark Foster, how are we doing this afternoon? I'm doing great. Back to my glory days in 1975 when I was one of the most feared athletic competitors at my school. 1975, you don't look a day over 20. What are we talking about? Oh, I wish. Absolutely. Anyway, so we're here, we're talking about the legacy and generational movement of the Athletics Carnival. What would you say has been the greatest change that you've seen from year to year going towards, you know, today? Well, I'm going to struggle to spell two of those words you said, so I'm going to have to guess what you're saying. I think it's great that we actually have to get three more buses today. Yes. I think that's outstanding. Absolutely. See, uh, we got, I've got one more question for you before we, uh, before we wrap this up. What event will you be competing in today? Um, I think I'm going to, I have been training for the left right out. The left right out, what's that? Uh, it's an event that runs about, say, 4.30 tonight. Oh, sounds good. It does. Very individual event. 
All right, hey guys, we're just here at the Triple Jump of Pacific Pine State High School Athletics Carnival 2018. Ready to get going. I'm going to show you a tutorial today. This is Harley Jensen, lovely athlete. He didn't make any of the jumps, but that's okay. Anyway, so we've got this microphone on. We're going to see how it works and how we're going to get this going. So let's get going. So essentially, the thing with Triple Jump is that no one actually knows what to do. So what you've got to do is mark out a spot on the floor so the people around you think you've got it all sorted. We're running, we're running. And that should be a pretty good jump. Later on in today, so we get through and make sure we know what's going on at Pacific Pine State High School Athletics Tunnel.